guys today? Kind of what did you feel like was the difference today? I thought we made a lot of plays, to be honest with you. And that's, uh, we, we talk about all the time, the explosive plays when you football games. And, and uh, you know, early on, we made a lot of explosives. And, and uh, that helps. That's like I said, it's, it, it uh, makes the game a lot easier and, and it can kind of change the momentum. It can get you excite the team. And uh, so I thought the guys did a heck of a job of doing that early on, especially. And uh, again, building a big lead for them. What was, what was working in the run game? I have to go watch, but you know, I think that um, we, we, because that we were hurting them through the air, you know, they were trying to play one on one and they got hurt with it. We got a lot of light boxes and uh, we're able to, to take advantage of those. Um, and then even into some heavier boxes, I thought we ran the ball really well. And, and like I said, I have to go back and look on tape like what we did better, what we did well. Um, so I thought we were really efficient. And if I were guessing, we, we probably play physical. That's usually what it comes down to. If you finish blocks, good things happen because we can get them hatted up. But it comes down to finishing them and uh, running through a couple arm tackles. I thought the running back did uh, we had some good examples that run through some arm tackles and, and uh, get a few extra yards for us, and that helps. Uh, I mean, I don't think he did anything in particular like last week or anything. It's just, you know, like we've talked about with Trigg, is he's a he's a really really special talent, and uh, he's a guy that we're going to depend on and, and that we're going to uh, use. And uh, just he's just continuing to, to grow more and more each week. And, and like I said, I, I don't, I mean, early, it's not like game one, like, hey, he's not ready. It's just, um, you know, like I said, learning it and, and still maturing into a college student athlete. And, uh, and and each week he gets better and better. He can put more and more on his plate. And so the more he can handle, the more we'll give him. And uh, he's just another great playmaker that, that, that helps the offense go. What are your thoughts on Drake, Drake London's first quarter and how he kind of set the tone for you guys? He almost had 100 yards in the first. Yeah, Drake's pretty good. So <laughs> he's uh you know, I don't think there's enough good things I can say about Drake, to be honest with you. Just not only as a player, but but uh, as a person. You know, like you know, that's what I think separates Drake from a lot of people. Is obviously he's a special talent, but he takes care of his business off the field in the classroom. Uh, you know, he, he takes care of his body. He sleeps right. He eats right. Uh, he's never getting in trouble. You know, he, when he's away from the facility, you're never wondering like, what's Drake doing? Is he going to get in trouble? Am I going to call about Drake? Uh, and when you have a kid that that's that, that's as talented as he is. It takes care of business the right way, the way he does, like with everything. Um, you've got a really special, special individual, and, and that's the result. You know, I mean, you can look at him all year, and and people they came out and tried to double him today, and still found a way to hurt him. You know, and so that's just the kind of guy he is, the kind of player he is. Uh, like I said, there's not enough good things I can say about that kid, and uh, we're fortunate to have him. He'll continue to be a big part of the offense, obviously. But that first quarter, you know, he wasn't necessarily open and made some unbelievable catches. But that's just. Like I said, that's just Drake, and then, you know, that's the thing is uh, we we almost expect that now, you know, and, and I think the expectation is so high for him. It, it's probably unfair, but when he makes plays like that and you see it every single week, it's like, well, it's, if it's close, he's going to make it, so let's just keep throwing it to him. Let's do one more. How close do you think you are to getting all three passes of the offense working together in the same game? Today, the, the tight ends are uh, You know, Trey made a big play for us, and, and that was huge, but – and then in that second half, we were using those tight ends to block. Like the big run that Keontae had was sprung by EK's, but you know EK kit had a kick and, and split that thing open. And so, you know, I think the key for us is just try to figure out um, what what what's going to give them problems. And early on, what we going to give them problems was it being an open sets. Um, and then they tried to adjust, and we and we kind of readjusted. And that's when EK gets in there and starts doing some good things for us in the run game. And so. Um, it's just like I said, it's going to be an ebb and a flow. And I think that depending on who you're playing each week, it's going to be what personnel you see. And, and you got to figure out what personnel is going to work best for you. And like I said early on, when we were in the, the open sets and kind of the, the lighter personnel, it, it created issues. They were either going to have to play one-on-one -on -one with Drake and, and some of those great receivers, or they were going to be really, really light in the box, and, 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 and we are going to hurt them there. And so when did they get us advantage? They kind of made an adjustment, and that's when we kind of made an adjustment as well and, and kind of got the tight ends more involved. Thanks, Graham. Yep. Thanks, Graham.